Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword, the, Sh the Shadow of the Templars, the Serpent's Curse. Um, and, um, just bear with me a minute, just cleaning my glasses on my shirt. And, um, yeah, we're going to continue now doing my least favourite pit of the whole fucking game. Uh, George, where, where are you going? It was another part of town that was alive with cafes. It was another part. It was another part of town that was Parisian spring fashion. Reminds me why I love this city. Tony's looks like a good place to take Nico. It was the intercom panel for Bijou's apartment. It's George again. The air was heavy with incense and alcohol. Reminded me of the old alma mater. What happened? George, please help me. I'm lost. There was a smashed record on the floor. Henri looked very much at peace. Henri had a beautiful little flower in his lapel. I hadn't noticed it earlier. Stealing a flower from a corpse. How low had I sunk? The small stuffed dog had pride of place in the table. Its little face reminded me of Henri. Its coat even matched his hair. Some dogs really do look like their owners. The small stuffed dog had pride of place in the table. Its little face reminded me of Henri. It's some dogs. Re right, let's go and talk to Bijou. The joysticks had finally burned down, but the air was still thick with incense. Oh, help me! You must help me. What's wrong, Bijou? We can't play our song. I lost Henri, and now our song. You mean the record? How did it happen? I stumbled and trod on it by mistake. Lane tells me you've got the provenance, that you did all the paperwork for the gallery. Oh dear, my head is going round and round and round. Bijou, I need to know. All the papers are in the safe, in the gallery office. Stop asking all these questions. And now I've got my cat who's decided to come and Does this smell good to you? sit on my lap. Henri, is that you, my sweet? Bijou, where's the key to the safe? Henri? You're not Henri. I'm keeping the key just as Henri asked it. Could I borrow that key, please? Oh, I need my tune. Nothing else matters. I couldn't get any sense out of her in that state. I had to find a way to get the safe key. What song was it, Bijou? I'm lost with Henri. Lost, lost. The name of the song, Bijou. Jasmine. It was our song. I'll see what I can do. Look at this lovely white flower. Oh, Henri, what will I do without you? Well, I'm not going to... I'm going to go straight to where I need to get the song from, which is back at the bloody arcade with Bassan. George, what can I do for you? Any other bargain? Not since you last asked. But Sam wouldn't... Thank you. I had a closer look at Bassam's stuff. Check it out, George. 
I've had quite a stock update, and I've got to say the metrics on some of this stuff is startling. They look interesting. A stack of those cards that play music when you open them. George, what can I do for you? Does one of your cards play the song Jasmine? Hmm, sounds familiar. Let me check the database. I think that's by the Hairy Lobster. Hassam certainly knew his stuff. Aha! Here it is! How much? It's yours. If you mention my shop to three other people. Done. Thanks. He probably... What? Time to go back to thing eight. Let's call Nico, see if she's got any more. I have nothing new to tell Nico. Mr. Rickenbacker? I spoke with Lane. He says the provenance for the painting is in the gallery safe. Good work, Stobart. Apparently, Bijou has the key. Though, when I talked to her earlier, she said she wasn't involved with the gallery. You need to take a look at that provenance. Get over to Bijou and find out what's going on. Bijou, it's George again. Bijou's favorite record was smashed beyond repair. There was no way it could be fixed. That was never going to happen. The subject looked vulnerable as she clasped her knees. The subtle birthmark was the only blemish on the model's flawless skin. The artist was entering his cubist phase. Two lovers entwined. Reminded me of that party game with the map. <laughs> subject stared casually out at the world. Bijou? Henri? Oh, you're not Henri. <sighs> I keep getting caught up with this bloody wire. Oh, fucking annoying. How about this card? It plays the tune. Oh, how wonderful! Dance with me, Henri. The small stuffed dog. It's look some. I found myself at Bijou's well-equipped dressing table. A picture of Henri had pride of place. Bijou used a pungent, flowery scent. I didn't want it on me. I daubed some rouge on my cheeks. I grabbed a strip. Prepare for wax. I cleaned my face before getting up. I don't know why this is my least favourite bit, but I got really stuck on this when I first done it. Sorry, little fella. I'll see you in Rio. Be 
Bijou was drunk and clamoring for Henri. No, sit down, George. Fuck's sake. I didn't want to mix Mozart with Harry Lasker's. I didn't want to mix Mozart. Sit down, idiot. Brown eye shadow. I didn't want it on my eye, but perhaps a slight dusting. My hair was now the same color as Henri's. Time to bring Henri back to life. Henri had more facial hair than me. I needed a brown goatee. With my mouth firmly closed, I added the wax strip to my upper lip. Instant goatee. Getting there, but I needed a little more. It was hard to see the color of Henri's eyes behind the glasses. I added Henri's glasses. I looked more and more like a gallery owner. It was working, but I needed something else. I needed to flower power my outfit. I added Henri's flower to my buttonhole. The jasmine definitely gave me that perfect hippie vibe. Getting there, but I needed a little more. I had the outfit exactly, but I needed something extra to ensnare the senses. I added Henri's breath to my disguise, made my eyes water. There. As I looked into the mirror, I saw Henri looking back at me. Henri, there you are, you naughty boy. Come, sweet me, my little role mop. I've missed you. With pleasure, Sherry. Henri, isn't this wonderful? Just like old times. Poor lady. Better let her sleep. I have the key. And besides, I wanted to get my hands on that letter of provenance. And here we are, back at the gallery. I was surprised to see Father Simeon at the cafe. George, a moment, if you please. Is everything all right, Father? No, my son. Mm, pardon me. Great evil is upon us. That sketch you showed me in the gallery, the study from La Maledizia, it showed an image hidden inside the Ouroboros, a dangerous image. Dangerous? The symbol represents a heresy, an object that the Gnostics call the Tabula Veritatis. The Tablet of Truth? It is a tablet of lies, a tool of Lucifer. So, you're suggesting that this image of the Tabula Veritatis is hidden in the Ouroboros on the kingdom? It is obvious now. The Ouroboros is a symbol of the Gnostics, a 
and the tree it contained symbolized knowledge, hidden Gnostic knowledge. How is La Maledic Seal connected to all this? I believe it contains clues that point to the location of the tablet. Clues constructed for a Gnostic to solve. If someone were to decrypt the painting and find the tabula veritatis, who knows what evil would be unleashed upon the world? Tell me more about this tabula veritatis. It is an artifact capable of undoing the whole of creation. It was smuggled out of the Holy Land millennia ago and brought to Europe by the Cathars, an evil Gnostic cult. In 1209, the Church launched a glorious crusade in the Cathar heartlands of southern France. We wiped out almost all the Cathars, and with them, the evil that is Gnosticism. My order, the Dominicans, were formed at that time to seek out and eradicate any remaining Gnostics. But we failed in our primary objective. We did not find the Tabula Veritatis. We presumed it lost, but the painting suggests it is still in Gnostic hands. Were the Cathars all killed? All that came forward to fight, but like a weed, their roots were deep. We did not fully destroy their evil. I still don't get why the Gnostics are so evil. They see God as simply the creator of the physical world and reveal Lucifer as the lord of the spiritual realm. Wow. What's so terrible about this tablet? What, what does it do? But Lucifer himself, the Gnostics could be anywhere. We must talk somewhere more private. Thank you, Father. That was some story. Be careful. Guard this knowledge. There are those who would do anything to find the tabula. Please excuse me. I have to get back to the gallery. I will remain here and follow you when no one is looking. I have more I must tell you. I had to get into the gallery and find the promenade. But I was really looking forward to hearing what else Father Simeon had to tell me. Alright, let's give Nico a call. Little glitchy there. Josh? Nico, I spoke to Simeon. He says the painting is a map that points the way to something called the Tabula Veritatis. What? The Tablet of Truth. He says it's a religious artifact that can undo the whole of creation. And you believe that? Well, he clearly does. So, who knows? Maybe there's something to it. You would say that. I didn't need to call the garage. Vera Security had disconnected their phone. I wasn't going to bother Rickenbacker until I had the provenance in my hand. The door was covered in police tape. The gallery looked totally empty. The door was locked. The office looked quiet. Nope, I needed to try something else. Course, I have the keys. No. It was the tomato sauce from the killer's pizza. I could have stared at the bust all day, but I had to find the provenance. to look 
gonna say. Yep, it certainly is, George. It was a statue of Henri. I opened the compartment again. The ring had an inscription. Henri and Bijou forever. Huh. Henri had bought Bijou a big diamond ring. I had a feeling the ring would be useful. A note was attached to the front of a document wallet. It read, Sherry, this should be the trick. Your darling Wilfie. Now, why would Hobbs be sending romantic little notes to Bijou? The handwritten note. Whoops. That had to be the elusive provenance. It clearly stated that Madofsky was the owner, but I'd learned never to take things at face value. I had to take a closer look at this. At first glance, the provenance looked authentic, but something wasn't right. The sketch was drawn on similar paper to the provenance. The coffee cup stains matched exactly, as did the tear. Prominence must have been created by Hobbs. It was a fake, which meant Madofsky wasn't the true owner. I had to get out there and find out what happened. Guess what? I found the provenance. Great. Turns out it's a fake produced by our friend Hobbs. Hmm. Maybe not let this story go to the center of after all. See you later. Mr. Rickenbacker? I got into the office and found the provenance. You won't believe what I discovered. Let me guess. It's a forgery? How did you know? Yeah, there's something fishy about this whole policy. Anyway, now I just need to find the painting. That's right. Bring the painting back and we'll work something out. Oh, and uh, good work so far. Well, thank you. The door wouldn't open. Something was blocking it from the other side. Whatever had caused the noise in the gallery couldn't be seen on the camera. The diamond ring was just what I needed to cut through the glass. mess of the window. There was no way I could leave. I had to find out what had happened in the gallery. Oh dear. Father? You are sticks. You must stop them. Who did this to me? Don't let them. The tablet. Those were his last words. First Henri, now Simeon. Who was behind this? And what was Simeon trying to tell me? Father Simeon lay dead. 
Nico's phone was busy. Father Simeon lay dead. Simeon had been carrying a scan of an old manuscript with a covering note. Both were written in Latin. Fortunately, I hadn't forgot the Latin I'd learned at school. The note read, The tabula veritatis only appears in one file. The Inquisition into Heretical Depravity by Nicholas Emmerich, A.D. 1376. Scan attached. The note was signed by the Vice Prefect of the Vatican Archives. Simeon must have done some digging after he recognized the symbol on Hobbes' sketch. It was a photocopy of an old Latin text. Although a bit rusty, my Latin was still up to the job. It read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue, and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected to La Maledizione. The illustration showed a group of colored figures engaged in some sort of ritual. The blue and green figures appeared to be in control. The crowd in the foreground were colored red. I guessed it was a representation of the ritual in the text. My God, what have you done? Huh? I know this looks like... like you've been caught red-handed. Excuse me. Josh, something terrible has happened at the apartment. Nico, hang on. Lane, it's not what it looks like. Murdering a priest, Snowbart? Is there no end to your depravity? It's a simple misunderstanding. Look, I need to go. I'll be at Nico's apartment. Nico! In here. Oh, hi, Josh. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick, and then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. Father Simeon's been shot. My God! Who did it? I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Josh, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just what are we up against? I don't know. But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll take a look around. Nico's neighbor had quite an impressive coin collection. It was a large statue of a pug. I wondered how one man could have so many pugs. Mini pug on a shelf. Bookend pug, book pug. Hmm. Pug in love. Pug on canvas.
surprisingly cool. Tiny flying pug. Weird. Medium-sized pug with wings. Very odd. Large flying pug. Very strange. The chair had been knocked over in the fight, but there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. <laughs> the sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Mika had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicción Marquez had written on. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Marquez had scribbled the word sa across the photograph. Wonder what he meant. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Right, I'm trying to figure out if there's any more pugs in here. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hope that Marquez was all right. Hey, Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion and one of the photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simi must have been right. The painting is some kind of mask. We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello? Oui? The BCB Inspector Naben. I am looking for the American, Mr. Soba. Are you with him? Uh, yes, he's right here. Uh, mon Dieu, stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry, I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. That was my work. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave is on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. <sighs> ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Flo, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Lou is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no. It's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? 30 more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? Mules traveled far through the ether, George. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find a way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape.
Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. All right, guys. You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. All right, guys. Um, I'm actually going to call this a video because uh, we are coming close to the end of the um, episode one, and um, I will finish it off next time. So we have a decent um, video for next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you then.